All right, so let's go ahead and check out Knowledge Check 3.4.1. Uh, so here I've already got some um, prerequisites uh, loaded. I've got the tidy models package loaded, the here package loaded, and then here I go ahead and import the attrition data, and I have set the attrition or the target variable, which is attrition, I set that as a factor, right? So recall when we are creating a classification model, our target variable should be a factor. Okay, so number one says, if you haven't already done so, create a 70-30 stratified train test split on the attrition data, All right? So I've got this code here, um, and this is gonna go ahead and take the initial split of our attrition data and I'm doing a 70-30, so 70% of the training, 30% of the test, and I'm stratifying based on attrition. And then I go ahead and I pull out my training data and I pull out my test data. So I'll go ahead and run that. So now I've got my train, which I call train strat for stratified, and I have that, okay. So now let's look at number two. Using the logistic regression model object, fit a model using age, distance from home, and job level as the features. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna create, I'll just call this M1 for my model. And I'm going to use logistic regression. And I want to go ahead and I want to fit, and it is going to be attrition, is a function of, I've got age plus distance from home plus job level. All right, oh, I got forgot to include my data, so data, equals train strat, there we go. All right, so that actually trains this model. Now you can see I didn't set the engine, right? I didn't specify the package to use. If we were to look at logistic, let's see, logistic regression, we would see here it lists all the different engines that we could use to create a logistic regression model. And you see this one, right? One simply means the default engine, okay? So by default, logistic regression is using GLM. Now, if I wanted to use some other function in, in here, such as maybe the STAN package to implement logistic regression, I'd have to set the engine to do so. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the default. All right, so I trained that model. Now it says, now train a K nearest neighbor model using the KKNN package and be sure to set the mode to be a classification model. All right, so what that looks like is, I wanna actually create a second model, M2, and this is going to be a K nearest neighbor, right? Now, I let's go ahead and take a look. If I were not to specify the engine, what would be the default engine this would use? Uh, the default is KKNN, so I don't even need to set the engine, and it's going to use that by default. But if you wanted to, you could always go ahead and do set engine, and then specify KKNN. All right, so once we've done that, now, in this case, we need to tell... Um, so K nearest neighbor is, is commonly used for both regression and classification. So in a case like this, we need to tell the mode, the default of, or not the default, the actual um, type of supervised learning model we wanna do, right? So this isn't required for all the different models we, we train, um, but we'll see lots of cases when we look at the algorithm we're training, if the mode equals unknown, then we need to go ahead and specify what is the type of model. Right, possible values for this model, unknown regression or classification. So what we want to do is go ahead and set this to classification. Right, so you will get an error um, that pops up if you don't include set mode. And for that particular algorithm that you're applying, it is required that you actually do set the mode. 
Um, so if that's the case, you're going to get an error and you'll realize, okay, I need to tell my algorithm that yes, this is a regression model or yes, this is a classification model. All right, so once you've done that, now I can go ahead and I can fit the same model. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code right up here and I can fit that same, same model. And now I, I have trained an M2. So I have M1 and an M2 object and we can see what they look like. Uh, we're not going to go through the details here. We'll hit on some of this information in later lessons on the algorithms, but we can get some information on our M1. This is our, uh, our logistic regression model, and we can get some information on our k-nearest neighbor model here.